What's going on guys? This is Wills again with another Android stereo review. This time we have the Be Nice Android 9.1 7 inch HD quad core double din. It doesn't have a DVD or a CD player and it's very affordable for less than $100. I'll drop a link below so you can click on it and check it out in more detail. Right out of the box you get a $10 cashback from Be Nice. All you have to do is send them the order number on Instagram or Facebook. Right on top there, there is a mail to mail USB cable. Let's go ahead and get it out of the packaging here. As you can see, it's a pretty slim and light unit coming in about seven by four. It looks like there. Yeah, so it's, it's pretty light. Here is the faceplate brackets for mounting. You get the instruction manual, camera cable, harness, the second harness for power in the speakers, USB cable, another USB cable, and this is the screw-in Wi-Fi adapter. Let's peel off the protective plastic coating they put on it. I gotta go ahead and take out my pumpkin stereo out of the 2007 Honda Civic. From the RCA harness you have audio out right, aux left in, aux right in, video in, video out amp C another video in and the subwoofer cable this is how long it would take to boot up the system from a cold start meaning never been powered on or had any type of connection previously so you get an Android logo of course and it should be booting up to the home screen any second now okay here we go it plays the radio automatically. Let's hit the back button up here to go back to the home screen. Let's go ahead and take a look at the settings and see what we have here. In the system info, you can see that this is a 16 gigabyte internal memory system with two gigabytes of DDR RAM. It also has a 1024 by 600 display. I do not know the password at this moment. I will put it in the description later. Or if you know it already, go ahead and drop it in the comments, please. Car settings is just for creating a profile for your make and model of your vehicle. Android settings here would look similar to what a normal Android device would be. GPS detection is basically for signal strength and to make sure that your GPS is working properly. There are additional settings if you keep scrolling down you can see there's volume, you got brightness, options for the navigation it looks like, you even got your steering wheel controls there. Um, you got your logo settings. Other settings will let you enable the float bar option, which is like a little shortcut button type thing. Okay, let's go back home and I want to give you an overall feel of what it looks like to navigate through the menus and the windows just to see how smooth it is. It's actually pretty smooth for a two gigabyte system. The little rectangular button will let you get to all the apps and close them very quickly either by swiping or hitting the close all button down below. Okay, back at the home screen here, let's see what hitting the car does. Oh, it takes you to Google Maps. That's pretty convenient. Got to sign in to get that going. I'm going to skip it for now so we can just see what it looks like really quick here. Oh, there it goes. That, that was actually pretty quick. Okay. All right, now let's see if this thing has Netflix because a lot of them with two gigs of RAM can't really run it. And by the looks of here, it does not have it. It's got Netflix, but so no Netflix. Hmm, okay. Let's see if we can get Amazon Prime Video going. That's a pretty good app. All right, we got Amazon Video going. Let's look at something and try to play a video to confirm that it actually works. Let's see. Notice the scrolling speeds. It's not the smoothest, but you know. Yeah, let's go with Hot Tub. That's a classic. Let's get it fired up and, oh, okay. So as you can see, the Amazon Video app, it is working. We've got Hulu also confirm working, but let's make sure that we can pull a video just to confirm. There we go. So we got one playing. And, and so far everything's running really smooth. 
Okay, this is good stuff. I wanted to test and see if Minecraft works. Um, it's kind of intensive on the graphics of a machine and as you can see, it's working. Again, not the fastest, but it's doable. If you got your kids in the car, they want to play a game, this is, this is totally doable. Bluetooth is very simple to get connected. All you got to do is uh, pull out your smartphone, look for car BT and enter 0000. zero, zero, zero. This is what the Bluetooth music player looks like. Taking a look at some of the stock apps, you have a calculator if you need it, as well as a built-in calendar for all my planners out there. There's also a digital manual just in case you lose your handy dandy pamphlet. File Manager will let you get to the root of your device to install apps. Again, you get 16 gigs of onboard flash memory. Okay, I about had enough of the float bar. It's got to go. Okay, so I tried to use the phone link option to connect a Android phone. And it wants you to scan the barcode there to install the Tima app. But when I install the Tima app, or attempt to install it, it takes me to this weird link, and it's not the actual app that I need. It's like a messenger type of app, so I'm not sure about that, with Android at least. I tried using the Android USB option as an alternative, and it pretty much ended up with the same result. It wants that Tima app. Okay, let's go ahead and test an iPhone. In this case, I'll be testing the iPhone 11. First, you have to start your um, personal hotspot, enter the password to your personal hotspot. Uh, no, you don't. All right, looks like we're connected. Let's go ahead and look at the screen mirroring option. There is the link. Let's go ahead and click it. And let's see what we get. Okay, and it looks like we got a connection here. Let's go to the main screen, swipe around just to make sure it's working. Okay, a little laggy, but it's doing the trick. Let's go ahead and fire up YouTube just to make sure. Okay. Let's get it in landscape mode. Oh, ad. Gotta love the ads, right? Come on. Let's scroll around a little bit while the video takes its time to load. Again, not, not terrible. All right, let's go ahead and test some external files from a USB stick. We're gonna try to test some videos, photos, and music. Automatically, it starts music in the music player app. As you can see, it's playing. You can't play the music due to copyright reasons, of course, but it, it works. Let's test some of the video files that I have on the USB stick. Okay, it puts them in this weird order. You gotta kind of sort them, it looks like. It's not playing one of my MKV files, so let me go to the file explorer and just try to run it through that way and see what happens. Okay, maybe it just doesn't like that particular file. Let's try another one. Hey, there we go. Okay, so it looks like it will play MKV, just not the one on my drive for some reason. So cool, MKV's confirmed working. Here's another MKV file, perfect. And this one's an AVI file, so it plays multiple file formats. All right, let's see if we can do anything with a photo here. Let's enlarge it, maybe a little more, no? Can I make this the background? Mm, okay, this is typical, just like a regular Android phone. Wallpaper. Crop it up. Eh, whatever. Let's just get it on there. Save. Let's go back home and take a look and see if it actually saved it. Cool, it did. So you can use your own picture, but I'm not sure of the resolution specs or requirements for that. Oh, that's the volume. Let's go ahead and get Spotify working or see if that works as well. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. Yep, it's working. Let's go ahead and play something. Oh, there we go. 
Spotify confirmed. I also found this wipe down menu on accident and it looks like it just has a bunch of shortcuts here. Um, let's test a few of these. Okay, that obviously turned the screen off. That's Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, um, car amplifier. I'm not sure what that did because I don't have an amp at the time. Clean up a problem. Okay, cleaned up some apps, released some memory. That's always good. Looks like it's also possible to take a screenshot. So go ahead and have fun with that if you're the screenshotter amongst your friends. This will take you right to the USB camera, which I do not have connected at the moment. Sold separately. In the Android specific settings, again, it's just like a basic Android phone. Let's look at the display. You got your font size. Um, here is a stock list of wallpapers you can go through. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Okay. Is that a blue bunny? Okay, let's roll with the blue bunny. All right, blue bunny background. So I went ahead and hooked up a good old PlayStation 2 to test the video in. Let's see if it works well or not. So far, so good. Okay, let's fire up a game to see if it plays. Let's test out the Root and Break Blow. It's a very rare game from the Grappler Baki series. Okay, looks like it's working. Okay, cool. So if you wanted to hook up like a PlayStation, Xbox, PS4, Xbox One, I guess, as long as you had the RCA cables, you could do so. Um, that home button will take you out. You hit the app, it'll take you right back to the game, which is pretty cool. I used to play this game all the time, and now I don't know. I don't know what the heck I'm doing. Oh, Okay, you can switch the inputs there. This unit did not come with an external mic, so it's right there at the top. And uh, I guess my final thoughts would be is that this is a very affordable double DIN that has Wi-Fi, um, really good Bluetooth. It plays almost every video file. It's pretty snappy and quick for two gigabytes of RAM. It's got 16 onboard gigs of memory, which is which is okay, um, depending on how heavy you use apps. Um, you can get it right on Amazon. Again, the link is below. Shout out to Be Nice or Be Neasy. This is a very solid product for the price. I was a little disappointed with the mirror link phone imaging screening type thing, but at least it worked with the iPhone. I give the sound quality inside of a vehicle about a 7 out of a 10. It's a little hollow, but it'll definitely get the job done if you have like an external amplifier connected as well. There's probably some other little tricks and features with this unit. If you figure them out and you want to share them, go ahead and drop them in the comments. Um, that's all I got, guys. Go ahead and check out my other car videos with Android stereos. And I'm out. Peace.